I will teach you how to teach people how to make money online. Wow, that's a mouthful. I'm going to talk with you about this new business opportunity that has come up in the last 10 years. And it's taken the world by storm. It's people teaching others how to make money online. And it's a crazy industry. So I figure, why not teach you how to teach people how to make money online? I mean, nobody's really doing this, but I want to outline what people are doing. And there are countless examples of people out there who are driving around in their Lamborghinis, their Ferraris, and they're basically on YouTube or they're on any kind of popular social media platform and they're telling you how to make seven figures every month and how to do this and how to make passive income. All of these people are capitalizing on the struggle, which is making money online. And instead of actually making money online, for instance, through the sale of maybe something that you've created, you are teaching people. So you're building a course or you're, you're doing all these different things. So without actually creating perhaps a product. Now, some people actually create products and they put their heart and soul into it. Maybe they're selling merchandise and whatnot, but a lot of these people will just sell the idea of making money online. And they'll give you a variety of strategies to build this up. And you know what? I wanna be straightforward and honest here. I think there's nothing wrong with this. There's a market for teaching people how to do something. So I think it's actually quite useful. But maybe you don't wanna be, uh, you don't wanna be the agency owner, right? You don't wanna be the marketing agency owner. You wanna teach people how to be the marketing agency owner. Maybe you want to do that. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. And I think a lot of people are sort of sticking their nose up at all of this and saying, oh, this isn't very good. But actually, there's a market for it. There's a market to teach people how to make money online. So why wouldn't you do it? And you're going to get the naysayers. You're going to get the haters. But overall, I think it's actually a really good strategy. And it's not too complicated. So I'm going to teach you how to teach people how to make money online because I've never seen this before. Uh, the first thing is, is a lot of these people who are teaching like online how to make money, a lot of these people have positive energy, they have positive vibes, they're motivational in some sense. And... This is a little bit more challenging for introverts. So if you're an introvert, this, this is kind of a roadblock or you're shy or, or a little bit more reserved and you don't get the energy in front of people, you might have a little bit more of a hurdle in terms of learning. But why is the positive energy such an important thing? Well, a lot of these people who want to make money online, they're down on their luck or they want to escape the nine to five. They want to get out of that. And somebody who's motivational and positive obviously will resonate more with them versus someone who is just kind of laid back and not super excited about what it is they're doing. You know, that's why this motivational vibe is really important. Okay. Almost like you're a motivational speaker because they want to see that you're excited. And then they will say, well, hey, I want that too. This is really important. You're basically projecting a, a positive image that people aspire to have because that's what they lack in their own life. So that's what you're trying to convey. Next is to, I mean, this is going to help tremendously, but to be physically attractive and well-dressed. Now, you don't have to necessarily do this, but I have to say the people that are really taking this seriously and, and are successful at it, they are 
taking care of themselves physically, they've got their diet, their routine taken care of, they're well dressed, a lot of them are wearing suits, and you know, they're showing their day in the life and they're exercising all the time. So they seem to be taking care of themselves because, well, it's an image thing. If you're not taking care of yourself, it's very difficult to actually be believable, right? If you're not taking care of your body, then how can you possibly influence others? Like people will not take you as seriously. So that's really important. What's crazy about all this is no marketing degree is needed. You don't have to have a background in marketing. You don't have to know anything about online marketing from an educational standpoint because, well, schools don't really teach how to teach others how to make money, you know? They don't really do that. Yeah, they don't teach you how to buy the Ferrari and pretend or rent out the Ferrari and pretend that you have all this money. They, they don't really teach that. But they used to see all these 18 year olds who are teaching others how to build e-commerce businesses and they don't own the McLaren, they don't own the Lamborghini, but they've rented it out or they know a friend or they've worked out some sort of deal so that they can borrow it. Schools don't really teach this. Why would they? It doesn't really make sense. So you don't really need a background. And I have to say, there are a lot of 18-year-olds out there who are doing this really well, and they do not have a university degree in marketing. So you can put education aside. It's not critical. It's not necessary. Uh, another piece is PR. PR is actually a big part of this. It helps if you have credible features on top publications, you know, if you can get mentioned on Huffington Post, Inc. Magazine, Fast Company. Ah, but what if they have no interest in mentioning you? Well, you could still leave a comment on these blogs and technically you're now officially featured. That's it. You're done. Yeah. Now you can say that you've written for the company because you've left a comment on their blog. So now you can include the publication's logo on your website, and you can say you're featured in all of these different magazines. You could do that. Or you could actually do it the proper way and, and write articles for these publications. But if you are turned down, well, a simple blog comment will do. Focus on teaching one general thing, okay? So become the master of teaching passive income streams. Like, here are the seven streams. Stocks, investing, digital products, merchandise. Like, you know, you become that guy who's, or, or woman who's pushing that narrative, okay? So there's your passive income stream. And, you know, that's what you're doing. You're, you're basically promoting the 9 to 5 life with all these different streams. And you're making it sound like it's effortless. Of course, in reality, it's not. Uh, you could be the stock investor guru, guru. Just tell everyone to invest in index funds, right? You could be that guy or woman. You can be the guy that teaches you how to be a consultant, okay? Choose your niche. Contact people from different social media, right? You, 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 can, you can teach people how to be a consultant, okay? Someone who does this really well would be like Sam Ovens. He is teaching people how to be consultants. That's basically it. It doesn't even need to have a consulting firm, right? You can just teach people how to be consultants. Uh, next one is starting a social media marketing agency, okay? So a lot of people, businesses, need help with social media and marketing. So you could teach people how to be 
the owners, their own agency owners, to go around and help out these businesses. It's like lawn mowing 2.0, right? It's all on the computer. You can teach people how to be social media marketing agency owners. Ty Lopez does a really good job of teaching people how to be social media marketing agency owners. He has a course. I think it's like $1,000. And it teaches you how to be an agency owner, okay? This is, he's not really an agency owner, but he's teaching people how to be agency owners. You could be that person teaching people. So all this is very high level, though. You're, you're teaching people at a very high level, okay? Because your core audience is, is just people who are kind of getting started, and like they're getting started with passive income, they're getting started with being a consultant. That's basically who you, you're going after. You're going after the entry-level people in all of these different areas. Uh, because the actual work of becoming a consultant is extremely difficult. Same with a social media marketing agency owner, okay? A lot of work has to go involved, or it has to be involved to become one of these people. But you don't want to be one of these people. You want to teach people how to become one of these people. That's what you want to do. That's the whole point of this video, or audio if you're listening. So you need to promote yourself though it's all about marketing here this is all a marketing play okay so you have to get your videos out there to promote whatever it is you're offering it could be the course you're offering a course on seven passive income streams okay you don't even have to build the course you could actually go on to something like clickbank find a course and promote it as an affiliate okay you don't even have to build anything. Although you make a lot more profits if you're selling the course and it's under your name. Something to maybe consider. You can even outsource the building and development of the course, okay? If you can't do that, then you might have to rely on making money through YouTube, okay? Which means putting out videos, teaching people how to make money online, okay? A lot of people are doing this, and it's quite lucrative, but it's very much oversaturated. Uh, at this point of me putting this video out there, there are plenty of videos out there on how to make money online. So you need to teach people a more specific thing. How to be a dog-sitting business agency owner. You know, like maybe that's what you need to teach or whatnot or uh another one would be authors so authors in the well i mean for instance i've written 80 children's books so i might be interested in how to market my children's books right and you could you could teach people how to market or publish books as authors the authors artists they're all struggling it's not easy to make money or a living as an author Okay, I'll, I'll be the first to attest to that. As someone who's written plenty of these books and illustrated them, it's not very easy business to become a successful author. So you could teach people how to be out there more, to be less obscure, to, to exist in the online world. Okay, uh, That's what you're basically doing. So... You, you know, you're focusing on, on something specific so that making money online is not just maybe as general as that. But if you could build a course around it, set up an like a email list, a landing page, funnel people to the landing page, go on to Facebook groups, connect with people, get people onto your email list. That's when you can start selling these courses. Get them following you on social media. It's all really important. Okay, people want shortcuts. Tell people what those shortcuts are. Don't don't hide anything. Just be super helpful in what it is you're trying to deliver. Okay. You give these people these tips. They will see you as helpful. They will see you as genuine. They will see you as credible. 
they will start following you. They will start listening to what you're saying. They will be motivated by what you are saying. It's what you want. It helps if you read a lot of book summaries. Then you can tell people that you've read all these books. And if you have... I'll, I'll use business books as an example. Business books, they typically have one or two main overarching concepts. So you can actually pull book summaries and, and understand these concepts. And, and you can tell people you know uh, in that book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Leaders. Here are the seven habits. You don't have to read the whole book to understand the seven habits, right? How to win friends and influence people. There's several ways to win friends and influence people. You don't need to read the whole book. So that allows you to pump through many books at scale, right? You can pump through 200 books in a year if you really wanted because, well, you read the summaries. This is a good strategy. So you can skim through the book if you really want to get rough ideas. You can pump through a book in a day easily. Uh, there are just so many elaborate summaries out there now that you don't have to read the whole book. So to become well-versed, in the, the books that you need to learn, you could actually consume quite a few business books out there. And then you can claim that you've read all of them because that's what everyone else is doing. And so when people say, oh, I read 200 books this year, find out how it is that they read those books. You'll be super surprised, okay? You'll find out that they didn't actually read every single word. They skimmed through it or they read very quickly. The, the more realistic example is a billionaire by the name of Bill Gates. He actually reads 52 books a year, maybe even more, but he actually reads a book a week, and he actually reads every single word. As there's someone who's actually consuming the content um, among all the other endeavors that he's working on. So, uh, but he's legitimately got the book, and he's reading it when he's on his flights. But you're trying to do shortcuts here so that you can consume much more. Ask someone if you can set up an office next to the Lamborghini that they own. It's an idea. You could do that. Because maybe if you can't afford the Lamborghini or Ferrari, you could at least be associated with it work out some sort of a partnership or collaboration, you could do that. Um, if you can set it up in their garage so that you've got you know, your office right in their garage with the 20 cars, then boom, claim it's yours. Some of this I kind of question, right? But people are actually doing this, okay? They've got a friend, right? They've got a friend, and they own the cars, and I get to borrow them. You know, you're, you're at least maybe telling people that, you know, you know some friends. and um, You know, same thing with the private jet. You don't have to own the private jet. You can sort of just pretend that you have it, right? What these online marketers are doing is they are kind of pretending at the beginning until they can finally afford these things so eventually it becomes a reality that they can own all of these things okay at the moment though when they're getting started they have to kind of do a make-believe a little pretend action how do i feel about that mm. someone who believes in ethical business i don't really think it's a good image for marketing but You know, to, to be creative and, and, and to sort of build this false narrative, it, it seems to work, okay? You have to be that kind of person. I, I don't know if I can be that person, right? But I think ego definitely helps. Yeah. I mean, we talked about sort of this confidence, this motivational positive vibe at the beginning. I think some of your ego is really important. Yeah. I mean, people are doing this, okay? You look at them, and you have the one group of people who say, well, that's a complete jerk-off. And you have the other group of people who are saying, he's an amazing person, I gotta follow this person. 
it's really cool and they're really helpful, okay? So it depends on how you want to view it, right? As a positive mindset, you know, I, I, I think it's fine. Because <laughs> not everyone can succeed with this, okay? It's actually hard work. Hire a vlogger to film your day, okay? If you can afford this. Although you can make out a deal, you know, I'll bring you on as a vlogger and I will share your work with the world. I will tell people that you exist, okay? That's kind of helping the vlogger. And you can find film students that will work for pennies and in exchange, you help them with experience and credibility. Until then, um, you know, if you can't find somebody or you want to pay somebody, but you can't do it yet, maybe a, a webcam or iPhone will do. You don't have to get too fancy. Look at a lot of the videos out there where it's just a guy with his camera in a expensive car, okay? He's just filming himself. Sort of a realistic kind of vlogging style. And you can put these videos up on YouTube. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with any of that. Build this personal brand across social media where social media is standing out, okay? So you want to build on the most popular platforms. Like right now, as me creating this video, TikTok is the video, okay? TikTok is the thing. Everyone's like jumping on TikTok and they're capitalizing on the organic growth that TikTok has. Get on TikTok. capitalize on it be helpful on tiktok be motivational on tiktok find other social media platforms and become everywhere <laughs> put it all on there share your content across the board ah you want to do some speaking engagements live events have somebody record all of this you know, say you've done the seven figures in sales, right? So when it comes to seven figures, I see a lot of the seven figure business, seven figure empire. A lot of people do this. Eight figure business, nine figure business, 10 figure business, billion dollars, right? Well, if you were a stock boy, at a super nice company, you could say you are a part of a seven-figure business. Oh, think about that for a second. You worked for Walmart. Well, now you can say you're a part of a 10-figure business, 20-figure or 11-figure business. Uh, you don't have to be directly making the money, okay? And you don't have to be making that in terms of profit, okay? A lot of people that have these seven-figure businesses, they don't actually have seven figures in sales. They don't have seven figures in profits. They were just part of a seven-figure business, okay? Some of these people were like that. I was a part of an eight-figure business. Yeah. I was a part of a 10-figure business, actually, because I had worked with, uh, I did a project for Nike, so I was a part of a 10-figure business, or 11 figures, if we're talking about multi-billions that Nike's bringing in in terms of revenues. So, yeah, it's really interesting. Oh, people are claiming, right? Of course, you can't go too far. Seven-figure sounds really good. That sounds realistic. People, you'll have a group of people that will go and find out your background and they'll realize that you didn't actually build a particular business like that, but that's okay. Those people will not buy your course. Someone else will. Yeah. You will be successful in all of this because... People want to be entrepreneurs. People want to make money online. That will never change. For as long as we have the internet, 
there will always be e-commerce, there will always be online merchandise, sales, digital products, stocks, investing, all this can be done online. This will never go away for as long as we have the internet. So making money online is a huge pain point for many people. And you can come in and teach them how to make money online and motivate them to take action. And I think motivating to take action is fantastic. If you can come across as a motivational person and people grab on to what you're saying, that's awesome. Nothing wrong with that at all. You can help people become entrepreneurs to help people solve problems. What's wrong with that? So I was a naysayer and I'm always super skeptical on things, but I have to admire what people have done here. It's not really so much for me. Okay. It's not so much for me. I don't think I could do that. I don't think I can tell you how to build like an eight figure business. I don't think that's realistic for me. It's not honest of me. And I could teach you how to sell your first ebook. I could teach you how to mow the lawn. I don't know if I could teach you how to build empires on all this yet. I could teach you how to write and illustrate your first children's book and maybe your next 10. I mean, I did that. I could do all that for you, but I don't know if I can go as extreme as some of these people. I don't know if I could claim to have read 200 books in the last year, but you know, I guess book summaries count. All of this is something that I sort of admire. I admire how people have built this up and I'm gonna be giving you a bunch of these tips here so now you can sort of maybe do something similar, right? Now's the time to get creative. For role models you can essentially replicate, there are plenty of them, have a look at people like Gary Vaynerchuk, Grant Cardone, Ty Lopez, Sam Ovens, just to name a few. Even throw Tony Robbins into that category as like the original gangster, the guy who kind of built an empire off of motivation and He's now selling some courses and he has kind of a team of coaches working under him. He sort of built out a nice empire of teaching people how to be the master of their domain. So he's, he's a really interesting example to look at. Ty Lopez more recently and what he's done in the online world I think is fascinating in terms of online marketing, online advertising. I mean, they have built empires based on teaching people how to make money or how to own their lives. They've all done this, so I have nothing against them. I actually have nothing but respect for what they have done. What's interesting, though, is that no one's teaching how to become what they are, who they are. No one's really teaching that. It's like a step a little bit higher, right? You have how to teach people um, online money-making ventures, right? And you have how to teach people how to teach people, which I've now just created. Mind blown. I think that's it. I think I'm done here. That's it. So that's, that's my video on teaching you how to teach people how to make money online. Boom. Till next time, this is Trev. Toodles.